Let's make the short journey from Oldham to Manchester, where a man set up camp outside a restaurant for almost 40 hours to bag himself free drinks every day for a whole year. So Callan Kemp travelled all the way from Mansfield to sit outside a new branch of Tim Hortons. Uh, another customer waited for almost 11 hours and he too was rewarded with free drinks for a year. Francine, what do you do to, to get free drinks for a year? Come on to this show. Hey, <laughs> there you go. Free Absolutely. drink. Free drinks. Free drinks here on Friday Night Feast, although not for me. Well, I suppose it is it's free. The it's, the, it's the milk. I'm on the milk this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, it's good. I feel like, what was it, Accrington Stanley that did an advert with, with milk? Anyway, there we go. Uh, now off to Birmingham. <laughs> now off to Birmingham, where police officers were left stunned after coming across a man who was driving a Mario Kart. Yes. Police said that the car stalled in front of them, and it turned out the driver had no insurance and a provisional licence, so the car was seized. There we go. Um, <laughs> have you ever had any... Like, do you drive? You don't drive, Christian, do you? Well, I, uh, I passed my test... Um, Eight years ago, and haven't been behind the wheel of a car since. No, really? Yeah. So I could legally, I could legally do whatever I want. Which but, is terrifying. Oh my goodness me! You know, I'd, I'd be, you know, be like, it'd be like me with the spiders again. You know, I can, see you, <laughs> I can see you in a sports car, Francie. I've actually got a... No, I haven't. I've got a, a Porsche Macan, because I like big cars. Yeah. I like I like to be high, because if I'm on a motorway, I like to be kind yeah. of on par with... If there's a lorry next to me... I hate lorries, by the way. Mm. I absolutely hate them. <laughs> They're my one thing I would get rid of if I could... Yeah, well, I don't know. How, all you need is a massive. Road. All you need is a massive Dyson, <laughs> and you can just go. Around. Do you ride a bike? Uh, uh, which sort of bike? I can cycle. Oh, you can. Oh, I so cycle. Bor Boris bike everywhere. Yeah, yeah. but I live. I live um, in civilization. I live in Zone One, London. No. Um, so I don't need a, a car. Um, and you know, in that respect, I'm sort of a god amongst um, mm. extinction rebellion. Yeah, you, you are indeed. I've emerged poorly from this particular edition of Round Your Pass because I. Don't like spiders, I've got a phobia with them, and I've never learned how to ride a bike. So there we go. I can't ride a bike either. Get in. Yeah. <laughs> I knew I liked you. Right, finally, we head now to Scotland, because someone has to. Where residents of South Queensbury are fuming after a 25-metre foam mass that was meant to be disguised as a tree instead looks like a massive toilet brush. There's a lot to unpick here. One of the problems with the mast is that it's twice as tall as all of the trees near it. <laughs> According to the Daily Record, one local called it God's Lavy Brush, which I particularly like. Someone else said it would have looked better if they'd not tried to disguise it. This rings uh, alarm bell to me. It reminds me a lot. I mean, what a pathetic attempt that is. It does just look like a toilet brush. But there was um, some... some well, in Blackpool, right? So Blackpool, of course, a lovely, notoriously tropical part of the world where the local council saw fit to put fake plastic palm trees on the promenade, which was <laughs> fooling nobody, right? Nobody. I mean, why on earth would they do this? But, uh, yeah, it was just shocking. If it's going to fool anyone, it'd be Blackpool locals, right? Do you think... <laughs> oh, hang on, we are the people trying to get out of Zone 1 London, Christian, OK? <laughs> get out of Zone 1 London and go and meet the real people, OK? Exactly. Anyway, all right, so that was, of course, the latest... Edition of Round Your Parts, where we do pick apart the best of local news. But it's time now for another one of our regular features here. It's Patrick Hattrick, where I show you three viral videos that caught my eye in the last week. You can listen to them as well if you're tuning in on radio. Uh, it has been announced that Prince Charles is going to take the Queen's place at the Highland Games this week. But it seems like darts is more his thing. Take a look and hopefully a listen to this. <laughs> Fantastic. Prince Charles there, living his best life. And I've woken up in some unusual places at 5.30am. That's You could say that again. I will. I've woken up in some unusual places <laughs> at 5.30am. My best was a roundabout. And there have been a motley crew of characters there to greet me, but fortunately the Prime Minister of this country was not one of them. However, aspiring rapper... Can I just say, it does appear like every single person in the world these days is an aspiring rapper. But anyway, Z Remain... Yeah, OK, not a Brexit here. Can't say... <laughs> off the cheap seats at the back. Can't say the same about what happened to him at Notting Hill Carnival. Calgary loved that. He was awoken by a police raid, led by a familiar figure. I mean, 
me put Boris on my phone. Well, go on, Boris. <laughs> Raided by the police, and he opens his door to find Boris Johnson, the Prime Minister, there. What do you do if you roll over first thing in the morning in front of Cena saw Boris Johnson? I would have thought I had too much to drink. <laughs> um, or am I, you know, is this a nightmare, basically? No, yeah. I mean, how fascinating, though, yeah. to see Boris just, like, turn up in your... Yeah. And to say wagwan. Wagwan, Boris. Of all things. Oh, I don't really want to say about that. It's just crazy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is I mean, nuts. It is yeah. nuts. I mean, I mean, it's not entirely unlikely... For you. I mean, Maybe. any woman in the country could wake up with Boris. <laughs> I wonder where you were Maybe. going with that for a second now, Christian. <laughs> not you personally, my goodness. Yes, we have got a legal team, but I'm not sure it's that good. <laughs> um, anyway, Naughty's pop sensation Anastasia was found walking around London streets by fans, so she confirmed her identity by belting her hit song, which, of course, we all remember. <laughs> wonder if you know. Check this out. You believe it's me now. Oh my God, come on. Okay, let me start again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I wonder if you know how it really feels to be out outside alone. When I call out here, well, you should know just how it feels to be alone. Yes, good. Okay, I did like the bit of that, Christian, where she was like, oh, no, I don't like it. No, no, no. Okay, it's me. I'm going to sing now. I'm going to sing right now. Well, I really thought we were about to mock it, but unfortunately, we do know the song, so... We do. Uh, I do not recognise her. Like, so, I mean, she she's not very distinctive, but you do you know what I mean? It's no. not like seeing Madonna. Are you calling or, Anastasia basic? That, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like seeing Madonna out in the street. I mean, she was, her hair was back, she had glasses, and I just wondered how they... She had a very young man on her arm. They really, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you can always spot Madonna by how young the man next to her is.